Lots of developments in the death of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi inside the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. We heard from the White House this morning. Senior advisor Jared Kushner is still just gathering information. Uh, we're obviously getting as many facts as, as we can from the different places and uh, then we'll determine which facts are, are credible and then after that the president and the secretary of state will make a determination as to uh, what we uh, you know, deem to be credible and what actions we think we should take. Also new today, CNN is reporting a Saudi agent was captured on surveillance cameras in Istanbul wearing Khashoggi's clothes the day he was killed. This footage was given to the network by a Turkish official. It appears to show a Saudi agent leaving the consulate by the back door dressed as Khashoggi and wearing a fake beard. The video is part of the Turkish investigation into the journalist's death. CBC Middle East correspondent Derek Stoffel has more on this ever-changing story. That's right, certainly extraordinary video obtained by CNN appearing to show one of the men that the Turks say belonged to this hit squad of 15 Saudi officials. They say that one of the members of this team actually dressed in Jamal Khashoggi's clothes, including his jacket, his eyeglasses, even put on a similar sort of beard. Only the shoes appear to be different. The Turkish source telling CNN that the man dressing up in the clothes was a body double, and he's seen leaving the consulate through the building's back door. All of this it appears in an effort to try to show the world that Jamal Khashoggi was not murdered in the consulate building, that he was alive and well. And even some of the video going on to show the, the, the body double at one of Istanbul's most famous tourist attractions, the, uh, the Blue Mosque, the CNN, the source telling CNN that it appears that the uh, Khashoggi's clothes were probably not even warm. That's the quote from the source before the body double put them on. Now, we do know that the Turkish officials conti are continuing their search for Jamal Khashoggi's body. And as you mentioned, that the Turks are now promising that they'll release the results of their investigation tomorrow. And a lot of people will be watching for that. We'll be covering it for our viewers, certainly. But with this, you know, Saudi Arabia changing its story on how Khashoggi died, what's the latest version from officials? Well, you'll remember, Suhana, of course, the fact that for more than two weeks, the official word from the Saudis was that they denied killing Jamal Khashoggi. And then that changed on the weekend when they said that there was this fist fight inside the consulate building. And then they changed their story even further yesterday when the Saudi foreign minister admitted that, yes, this was murder. He blamed ro a rogue operation. Let's take a listen to more of what the foreign minister had to say to Fox News. The individuals uh, who did this did this outside the scope of their authority. There obviously was a tremendous mistake made, and what compounded the mistake was the attempt to try to cover up. Now, the, uh, the foreign minister strenuously, de strenuously denying that the crown prince had any role, that he uh, certainly did not order the killing of Jamal Khashoggi, but we do know in an interesting twist today that it was the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and his father, the King, who made a phone call to Jamal Khashoggi's son, Saleh, to offer the kingdom's condolences. We also know that uh, several Turkish members who worked in the, uh, in the Saudi consulate, they sat down with prosecutors today as that investigation wraps up. CBC Middle East correspondent Derek Stoffel in Jerusalem.